President-elect Donald Trump will begin his second term in 75 days. A transition team is already in place. And today uh, we'll hear from President Biden after Vice President Kamala Harris delivered her concession speech yesterday. Elijah Westbrook has the latest on the transition effort now underway. Elijah. Well, Mary and Chris, Trump campaign officials tell CBS News they will start holding transition meetings as soon as today so that they are ready to take office on January 20th. We're told one top item on the to-do list includes filling around 4,000 government positions with political appointees. President Biden is set to address the nation this morning about the election results and the transition to former President Donald Trump's second presidency starting January 20th. Vice President Kamala Harris delivered her concession speech Wednesday, saying she would help with a peaceful transition of power to President-elect Trump. I know Folks are feeling and experiencing a range of emotions right now. We must accept the results of this election. While I concede this election, I do not concede the fight that fueled this campaign. During a phone call, Biden and Harris say they congratulated Trump for his Election Day victory. In that call, the Trump campaign says President Trump acknowledged Vice President Harris on her strength, professionalism, and tenacity throughout the campaign. We're going to make our country better than it ever has been. Trump expanded his base across the country, outperforming Harris and has swept every battleground state that's been decided. Trump has already announced the heads of his transition team, Linda McMahon and Howard Lutnick. McMahon is the wife of WWE Hall of Famer Vince McMahon. Lutnick is a billionaire businessman and CEO of Cantor Fitzgerald. Reaction continues to pour in regarding the results. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders tweeted, quote, It should come as no great surprise that a Democratic Party, which has abandoned working class people, would find that the working class has abandoned them. And looking ahead here, President Biden is expected to address the nation this morning at 11 o'clock about the election results and transition. Mary. Elijah Westbrook, Elijah, thank you. 604 and control of the U.S. House is still hanging in the balance. Dozens of races yet to be called. The results could have enormous implications. Republican control would usher in a new era of unified GOP governance in Washington, or it could flip to Democrats as a last line of resistance to Trump's agenda. Here in New York, some residents are dealing with uncertainty about what a second Donald Trump term will mean for them. The hot button issues range from abortion access to immigration. Christina Fan joins us live from Trump Tech hour in Midtown with more. Christina. Well, Mary and Chris, some voters here are nervous and anxious about what Trump's proposed policy changes could mean for reproductive rights, immigration, and more. While Mayor Adams and Governor Hochul quickly congratulated the president-elect yesterday, they also vowed to fight and uphold rights New Yorkers hold dear. Mayor Adams says with the recent passage of Proposition 1 Tuesday enshrining abortion rights into the state constitution, women can be confident their reproductive rights are secure. City leaders also reassured immigrants New York remains committed to its sanctuary laws and will continue to offer care, resources, and legal help to those who need it. During the election, Trump had campaigned on a promise to launch the country's largest deportation program in history, reinstate hardline border policies, including militarizing the U.S.-Mexico border. Many immigration groups are fearful what the ramifications would mean. We will work with the new administration in Congress to develop a realistic and compassionate national strategy, strategy for our immigration system. This includes pushing Congress to provide expedited authorization for asylum seekers who desire to work, and they are already here. While the majority of New Yorkers voted blue on Election Day, Harris only beat Trump with a 37-point margin of victory compared to Biden's 53-point margin in 2020 and Hillary Clinton's 62-point margin in 2016. Political analysts say New Yorkers were driven by the economy and immigration, especially after Texas Governor Greg Abbott started busing migrants here about two years ago. They also indicated local voters could be looking for more centrist political candidates 
candidates moving forward. Reporting live from Midtown, Christina Fan, CBS News, New York. Christina, thank you. The CBS News reports Special Counsel Jack Smith is now in the process of closing two federal cases against President-elect Donald Trump. Smith charged Trump last year with plotting to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election and illegally keeping classified documents at his Florida home. Longstanding Justice Department legal opinion says sitting presidents cannot be prosecuted. The president-elect is also scheduled to be sentenced later this month in New York for falsifying business records related to a hush money payment made to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. And New York Attorney General Letitia James says she will be ready to challenge the Trump administration on legal issues when necessary. We faced this challenge before, and we used the rule of law to fight back. And we are prepared to fight back once again. Because as the attorney general of this great state, it is my job to protect and defend the rights of New Yorkers. And President-elect Trump currently appealing a New York state civil judgment requiring him to pay $354 million in fines and another $100 million in penalties for inflating and deflating the value of his assets in order to gain favorable loans. 608 on your money watch. Futures are trending higher this morning as investors await a report on weekly jobless claims and a cut to interest rates. The Federal Reserve chair is expected to lower its benchmark borrowing costs by a quarter percentage point, affecting things like credit card and mortgage rates. Some Wall Street yesterday stock stormed to records as investors bet on what Donald Trump's return to the White House will mean for the economy and the world. The Dow jumped more than 1,500 points. S&P rose by 146. The Nasdaq surged 544. And be sure to stay with CBS News New York for continuing coverage on all the election results. You can also find out how your county voted on our website, cbsnewyork.com.